I talked to y'all about. Um, well, Ryan Garcia has been popping up a lot lately, and everyone's saying how he's crazy and this and that. Well, I don't know what his mental state is, but I can tell you one thing. He's bringing up a lot of things that uh, that that should be brought up, and maybe that is crazy considering you know the atmosphere we live in. But I bring up the same things. I just don't do it in such um, a belligerent way, I guess. But here's the thing: I'm also a lot older than him, and um, I know through experience that if you don't touch these subjects properly people are just going to think you're completely out of your mind. But, you know, you got, there's things happening right out in the open that everyone can see. <laughs> it's just that, you know, we, we're, we've been socially engineered and brainwashed in a million different ways to where we just, we accept a lot of unacceptable things. Uh, for instance, the whole Epstein thing. You know, could it be any more obvious uh, that the people who hold all the power are up to no good? <laughs> I mean, they couldn't make it any more obvious, really. I, you know, um, if you think someone on, you know, who's being watched because uh, uh, of the uh, potential that he might off himself, if you think in, in a place like... You know, I, I forget which jail he was in, but I, I've I've been to jail in Manhattan for hopping turnstiles and stuff, and uh, you couldn't get away with that. <laughs> I mean, and I I'll, I'll also you know, the day after that happened, people who worked in that jail were out on the internet saying a whole bunch of weird stuff was happening that night and uh i i don't know if you can still find it but if if the if that was real and those people really really worked in there i mean it, it just couldn't be more obvious you know so do i think ryan garcia is nuts no i i don't think he's any crazier than everyone else probably you know in in my opinion crazy is the people who float through this society society and and don't realize that things are off that that's crazy to me but i don't blame the people for it because the only reason i see things the way i see them is the way my life unfolded the things that i couldn't control forced me into looking at things in a different light if everything just went according to plan when i was younger which i didn't have much of a plan my plan was to get some stupid menial job and grind my way through life and retire, hopefully middle class. I didn't know. I didn't have any plan. My only plan was to get my bills paid every month. That was all I, you know, if people came at me with any conspiracies at that point, I, I would have politely listened, but I didn't care. I Like, what do I care? I got bills to pay. You know what I mean? That was all, that was all I cared about for a long time until... I played the game and it blew up in my face and I started really questioning things and thinking like how off I started to realize really the main thing that made me start realizing how off everything was was the fact that I grew up thinking that my ancestors were responsible for slavery but as I got older and I was doing all this uh, manual labor for a living and getting paid so little to do it and I, I, it hit me that if they just paid me in food and shelter I would I wouldn't be in that different of a position as I'm in now they're paying me just enough to keep a roof over my head and to keep a little bit of food in the fridge sometimes not even enough to do that and I was thinking to myself you know isn't that slavery? I'm working for food and shelter. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and that's when I really started questioning things. I was thinking to myself, have I been tricked <laughs> into feeling guilty for a crime that my ancestors come from Ireland and Italy? And they didn't own slaves. They were always, you know, in Ireland, my ancestors were fighting against the colonization. You know what I mean? I come from Irish Catholics. So... 
you know, the more I started learning about things, the more I started realizing that I am not guilty of anything these people are accusing me of. And it made me pretty angry. And to this day, it makes me ang angry because there's so many people out there who have this white guilt or whatever, when really it's, it, it, it's completely manufactured you know, your ancestors were not conquering. They were, they were, they were slaves, basically. They, do you realize how rich someone had to be to own slaves? Now, if your ancestors owned slaves, you'd have to be coming from old money. So that does not apply to 90%, probably 95% of the people alive today. And... So that, that's when I really started questioning things. And I was thinking, they've gaslit me into feeling all this guilt. And it, it, it really made me angry once I realized it. Um, but here's the thing. So after years of questioning everything, really, and uh, also realizing how many people will have to be on medication just 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 to get through life i'm thinking that that is not right look uh, i mean you know they blame it on a chemical imbalance but you know if you look at the societies we live in it's a very depressing defeating thing that you know it, in in my opinion if you need to be drugged just to live your life that's not your fault that's that's you're living a life that you don't want to live deep down. You don't want to live it. So it, all, all these antidepressants and all this stuff, all it does is enable you to handle things that by nature you shouldn't be dealing with. That, that's my opinion. So, you know, I get annoyed when I see people and I know people personally and I try to bring up, bring up these points. They don't want to hear it because life without the... Um, medications and stuff is like they can't even think of that you know so I I don't push people I but and and I get it too it's like what 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 can you do what are you supposed to do just ditch everything and go be homeless like I did no I I, I don't think that's the right move for everyone some people it, it is the right move but um you know, it's like it's like saying that everyone should go through harsh training, which honestly, I, I kind of feel that way. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, the Spartans used to put the youngins through the agogi, which that was one of the thoughts in my head when I was thinking I, I need to just ditch everything and, and do some agogi type shit and go out there and, you know, get thrown around and 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 either live or die. But. I can't take this flat line of his, of an existence w w anymore where I'm not even getting anything in return. I ended up getting evicted and all that. I was thinking to myself, why do I keep putting myself through this shit? Man, my hair looks awesome. Like, I, I don't dye my hair. It's just, I don't know what, you know. When I was a kid, my hair was blonde. But anyway, so um, that was one of the reasons I decided to go out there and... Uh, just kind of wing it out on the street. I was thinking th they put the Spartan kids through this and the kids, you know, they figure it out or they die. <laughs> and so, you know, what, and the other thing I was thinking to myself was not that I thought I was going to die, die or anything, but I, I didn't know. But I was thinking to myself, is death worse than grinding through this existence of poverty and hard work? And I'm not saying that that's everyone goes through that but that that's how it was turning out for me I was never nothing was working out and it was it was things beyond my control I you know I'm happy to take the blame for whatever because if I, if I can if I can find a way to blame myself I can find a way to fix it if it's my fault I can fix it but the, the, the things outside of my control were happening and I was thinking to myself how many how many more times am I going to build up and get it swiped out from under me before I I, I just it, it's just not, I, I don't want to live like this. But what, what could be worse? It was, you know, that Sisyphus going up the hill, pushing the boulder. And 
imagine someone comes along and just kicks the boulder out of the way every couple of years. I'm like, I, I, I'm not living like this no more. So anyways, I'm getting off topic. But uh, my point here is now I don't think Ryan Garcia is nuts. I think what, what's nuts is the people who come out saying, oh, he needs to be locked up in a mental institution. No, you do. You, you you need to be fucking locked up because he's bringing up things that do I believe he, he was tied up and forced to watch kids be abused? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know this guy, but I know that I know through, through through my own sources that these things do happen. I also know that a lot of people sell their souls for riches and fame. This is this is real shit that really happens. I'll tell you this, um, I stumbled into, <laughs> um, I, my whole Patreon is based on this. If you're interested in the Illuminati and stuff, I know it sounds crazy. I believe, look, let me tell you something. When I stumbled into the real rabbit hole, I didn't really believe it either. But <laughs> the, the deeper I looked, and now, now I am, I'm down the rabbit hole, bro. I can tell you that, that much. And I go over it all on Patreon. It, it I mean... I am I am fucking down that rabbit hole. I, I'll tell you that much. Um, and uh, it's not it. Uh, what led me down the rabbit hole was this was now my whole life I've been looking for answers. Uh, so uh, a couple of years ago I stumbled into a book. Um, it, it's something about elite family insider. Uh, answers questions or something anyways i got my hands on the book and as i'm reading it i at first i was just curious i'm like let's see this bullshit you know i didn't think like why would what why would one of the illuminati members be out here <coughs> telling everyone what's going on <coughs> why would they do that <coughs> and <laughs> the deeper you go and i'll tell you this much right off the bat reading i was like this person answering these questions is not your average dumbbell out on the street. This is a person who is very intelligent and powerful. They, they're not afraid. You can tell just listening to this person. And, you know, I'm reading it. But just their tone and, the, you know, they, it was obvious to me that this person, whether it was real or not, that this person was very smart and powerful so i read the whole thing more than once and it was making me think of things that i never even thought of um people were asking questions and a lot of people were trying to just brush this person off like they were a moron and one of one of his responses now i don't know if it's a guy or a girl but one of his responses was something like most people don't even know what planet they're actually on he's like you you everyone's knowledge is based on what they've been told no one knows anything is what he was saying and it made me realize that everything i know about our solar system and our position in our galaxy every it's just been told to me i don't know any you know i i don't know any of this so for all I know, we could be on a whole different planet in some other solar system. Now, I do believe we are on Earth inside this solar system with Mars and Jupiter. You know what I mean? But I did get the point that he was making was that you don't know shit. And they could make you think and believe literally anything. So as I'm going through this um, book... And I, I've read it more than once, and I've, I, I need to reread it, and I should have reread it, because it's a short book before making this video, because I'm not even going to do it justice. But another major thing he said, and this, they were like, aren't you worried that people are going to find out and come and get violent and destroy you guys and all this? And he, he said, I'm not worried about anything in the physical world. He was saying, basically... This is, none of this matters. What matters is spiritual evolution, is what he was saying. Nothing material matters, life, death, it, you know, he was saying basically, no, I'm not afraid of anything in the physical world, not one thing. Poverty, none of that. This, this person understands that, that what really matters is not the physical, 
you know what I'm saying? What what really matters is spiritual evolution. And so, you know, and the deeper I got and the more information I found, now I believe it. I, I 100% believe all this stuff. And I go over it all on Patreon. I'm really, I'm not even trying to do a Patreon commercial here because here's the other thing. I don't want everyone on my Patreon. I, I don't want a bunch of bickering fucking idiots that, annoying me with stupid shit you know what i mean so my patreon is for the people who are into this stuff and want to learn not for the feel free to debate me on anything but just don't be like annoying and insulting and you know unless you've gone through all of it you you really your your opinion is based on just guesses you know what i mean so that's when people are like, oh, you push your Patreon too much. Not really, because I've got a good group of people there who are interested in these things. And, it, you know, I, I, I don't push it that much anyway. And whoever's meant to be there is going to be there. Whoever's not meant to be there is not going to be there. So, you know, um, there's people that I have their names written down. I won't allow them on there because they're too annoying. <laughs> like I don't need people making me angry and annoyed when I'm trying to go through the, this complicated stuff that that I'm going through on there. But so, anyways, um, one of the now this is the whole point of the video. Sixteen minutes in, I'm just now getting to the point. Here's the thing: I'm gonna give you all a little free tip. One of the questions they asked was like, "How do we know that?" The person was saying, basically, look, a lot of the food out there, chemicals, it's all poison. It's all meant to keep you at a low vibration. This person was giving up the game. And um, this is actually, as it turns out, as I've gone through more of this stuff, this is a very low-ranking member of the the family. The, the, there's multiple families working together here. But this is this person doesn't even know the the whole big big picture this person you know once because i've gotten deep deep into this shit and i've found higher up members who are answering questions and shit anyways look into it if if you're interested in this stuff or go on my patreon and you can see my sources right there look into it yourself and that's what I suggest. Don't don't dismiss anything out of hand. L look at the insanity you accept on a daily basis. <laughs> I mean, and people, it's just it's funny, like to me, how gaslit they they have everyone for real. Where when someone comes out speaking a little bit of truth, you got people saying he needs to be locked up. When really. It's the other way around, really. You, like these motherfuckers should be locked up. You're you're helping, you're gatekeeping for people who they ain't giving you shit. You, you know, you may have your little bit of wealth and your little bit of fame. They scoff at that shit. They laugh at it. Their wealth, it, it, you Bill Gates' wealth is pocket change to these people. They they've been in control for a long, long time, and you know. These little influencers, they're they're like gnats. They're like, you know, the, the little bit of change they, they let you accumulate. It, it's, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't do what you do for the amount of money you're getting for it. I'll put it to you that way. Um, but so one of the things you said was people are like, well, how do we know, you know, what is poison and what isn't? And he said, it's real simple. Anything that's heavily promoted is probably bad for you, <laughs> is what he was saying. Anything that they really push hard is what you need to look out for. So anything free, anything that's easily accessible, and anything that gets promoted and pushed hard. And they were saying, so what do you eat? And he was saying, my family owns their own food manufacturing supply chains. He was saying, we only eat shit that we grow. We, the, you know, the meat we eat is from our own farms. He's like, we don't touch nothing that you guys touch. And, you know, and he was saying basically like anything that's heavily promoted. Now, another thing Ryan Garcia was talking about is prime. Now, 
you know, I don't want personal beefs with Logan Paul or KS. I, you know, I, I don't, these people, they, I, I, I really have nothing against these people. They're doing what, what a lot of people would do in their position. They're trying to capitalize, you know? Um, I don't expect them to know what I know without living through the life that I've lived through, you know? Uh, so, uh, you, you know, so, um, I, I don't personally blame them, but you know what I mean? I think what they're doing is what a lot of people would do in their position. They're just trying to get richer, which to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like, what's the point in having billions and trillions? I don't even see the point in it. it, it having some huge mansion I, I just don't you know if i had a big family i'd want a big house i suppose other than that but me by myself what the hell me and one girl what what do i want a big huge mansion like a big empty space around me that nobody it's just collecting dust it just doesn't make sense to me um or owning a private jet hey, why would i want to do that like i don't you know, unless I'm flying somewhere every other day, I don't want to deal with the maintenance <laughs> and, and the staff. And, you know, even with a yacht, if I was to get a yacht, if I was ever, ever that rich, I'd get the Lamborghini yacht because it's not that big. I don't want to hire a full time friggin' staff. It's just it, it's a waste of resources, in my opinion. Um, but so now speaking of heavily promoted stuff, you got prime now. Me, personally, I don't touch any energy drinks or anything like that. I do drink coffee. Um, the only reason I even drink coffee is because when I was homeless, I wanted to charge my phone at Starbucks, and I, I didn't want to just sit there using their services without giving them something in return. So I started to drink coffee just to give me an excuse to go charge my phone. I didn't care about coffee. I still... I, now I, I do enjoy coffee. I'm not going to lie. I enjoy a good cup of coffee. Um, but people are like, oh, you're addicted to the caffeine. I'm like, I, I don't think so. I, I, I used to be on fucking heroin. You think a cup of coffee has any type of fucking impact on me? You know what I mean? So um, I, I don't think I drink coffee because of the caffeine. I think it's just a habit that... But, you know, before I start my day, I like to sit there and chill and bullshit on the internet for an hour while I drink my coffee, and then I go about my day. I just like to start my day relaxed, and what I do in the morning, my morning routine, I make a cup of coffee. As I drink it, I bullshit on the internet looking for maybe something to make a YouTube video about or looking for something to write jokes about, but, you know, I'm mostly... It, it's just... I don't even consider it work. I'm just bullshitting through the internet, looking at the news and shit, and working out. That's how I start my day. Drink my coffee, reading the internet, which is basically my newspaper, and I work out. I do a couple of sets of push-ups, crunches, whatever it is that day that I'm doing. Um, but, so, you know, these people drink these energy drinks with, with these massive amounts of cat. I don't touch none of that shit. I, I don't... Um, Something in me just tells me it, it ain't no good for you. And um, I've told this story before. I'll tell it again real quick. When I was a little kid, my mother, like, decided we're going to try some diet soda, <laughs> you know. And all three of us, me, my brother, and my mother, we were all like, oh, my, that is disgusting. Like, we couldn't. It tasted like a uh, literal poisonous chemical to me. Um and so ever since then, I I have not trusted any type of artificial sweeteners. And if you look into it now, you're talking this. This was long ago when no one thought anything like of artificial sweeteners. The FDA approved it. Everyone was just like, oh, it's fine. But now if you look into it, aspartame and um, whatever that sweetener is that they use in prime it's it's all very bad for you anything that's heavily promoted you need to watch out for it and another thing that really struck me with the whole prime thing was uh when my truck got wrecked and i was staying with my buddy who's got two young kids i don't know they're like eight and nine they're young you know what i mean and so when he, when he would be at work and and his wife was at work 
and I was stuck at his house for like a week. His kids would come home from school, and it'd be just me and the kids until um, him. Well, he he worked in an office out of his house, but you know, for an hour or two every day, it'd be just me and the kids in the living room before his wife came home and before he was done with work. And, and one of the things I noticed was they were talking about Prime, and I'm like. <sighs> How are these young kids like they they wanted prime, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, how did they push it on these kids to the point where they they're sold on it? And I, I didn't bring it up to my buddy or any. I, it's not my business what his kids do. But I, I, I just found that a little surprising that <clears throat> because I don't them energy drinks. I feel like they're really, really poisonous and bad if you really need caffeine that bad. Just drink some coffee. Drink the Cuban coffee, that or the you know the Italian, the little uh, espressos. If you really want like a a shot of caffeine, stick with the natural shit. Don't um, this heavily promoted shit? It's poison. And now I'm thinking to myself, first of all, how do these kids even know what Prime is? They must be advertising it on the little internet games these kids play, or what it, what what was Roblox or something was what what they were really into my buddy's kids so I'm guessing this prime shit is being heavily promoted on the Roblox thing that these kids hang out on I don't know shit about it uh, so um but then on top of that I think they can get it in their school think now would you give your kid a Red Bull <laughs> I mean you ever see people who drink Red Bulls all the time? They're usually not in the best shape. They look like dough, uncooked dough. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Their hair's all falling out. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and they still drink it. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, don't you see that you're drinking fucking poison? So, anyways, um, my my thing is. The, the point of this video is beware of anything that's heavily promoted. Thank God I don't have kids. I, how are you going to stop your kids? If, if your kids want something, how do you stop them? You know, the, the harder you press them, eventually they're going to, they're just going to go against it. You know what I mean? And you can't watch them 24 seven. So I don't know. I, thank God I don't have kids is all I can say. And I love my buddy's kids. They're, they're, they're funny, entertaining kids. You know what I mean? I get a kick out of these kids. But I do, I, you know, from being around his kids, um, when, when I stay at his house and stuff, I've noticed that these schools and, you know, y'all got to watch your kids, bro. That's all I can really say. Uh, you know, um, the, the, Ain't nobody really looking out for them out there. The, the schools, they're giving them this poison. and They're being promoted a whole bunch of, uh, in my opinion, but, you know, they, they, they're gaslighting these kids into, into, into a lot of crazy shit. You know, so my buddy's wife, who works in a high school in, in Pasco County, which is like north of Clearwater, she said that, one of her jobs at, at the school is she has to get, give the kids their medication. She was saying basically like 80, 90 percent of these kids are on meds. So either anti, this is a high school. When I was in high school, nobody was, we used to smoke weed and drink. That was our meds, you know, but she was saying that. And, and also another thing I find a little strange is she said a high percentage of them are not straight and a lot of them want to get sex changes and stuff and I'm thinking this is what they're teaching American kids from elementary school up so look anything that's heavily promoted look out for it I, I don't want to you know I here and here's the other thing I don't I don't like it, 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 making fun of the the, the trans kids and stuff. I, it, that's not I don't think making fun of them is 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 it is a nice thing to do you know what i mean um i i don't particularly blame them i i i feel that they've been manipulated and gaslit in a million different ways to do things that are not healthy for them so 
making fun of them and you know i i i see a lot of stuff on instagram where they make fun of these kids and i'm thinking you know it it ain't i guess everything is your own fault when you break it down far enough but you also got to realize you got i didn't come up in this society that was pushing this shit on me so i don't know you know I, I don't know. I, I can't, you know, I can't say say what, who knows what I would have turned into in this, That that's my point, you know? So, I don't, I, I see these people as victims, is my point here. I, I don't see them as, they're, they're a symptom. They're, they're not the problem. You know what I mean? Anyways, the point of this video, video be careful. Anything that's heavily promoted, any agenda, any food, anything, the, the fast food and shit, I, do what you want, but pro, all this processed and, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't suffer from a lot of the issues that a lot of people suffer from, and that's because I, I have not lived the life that a lot of people live. I don't eat all this garbage, I, you know. I ain't no spring chicken no more, but I can tell you one thing. I feel like I'm 20 years old. I work out like I'm 20 years old. I feel I feel like a million bucks, bro. And that's because I'm very careful about what I eat. And it, it's not that I even eat healthy. I eat bacon, cheeseburgers. I eat whatever the fuck I want. But I don't eat a lot of it. Um, as far as, like, cleaning myself and stuff, I, I, I don't use a lot of perfumed soaps and shit. I, you know. So, um, I, I don't know, you know, I, I think that in a lot of ways I was blessed to live through this stuff that I lived through being homeless and all that, because it kept me away from a whole lot of poisonous shit. You know what I mean? So, um, the point of this video is just be careful out there about anything that's heavily promoted, anything that's heavily promoted from food to agendas to anything else, the people who are in control of our societies do not have your best interest at heart. They are not trying to bring out the best in you. They are literally trying to bring out the worst in you. They're, they're, damn, this video is getting long. They're, they're trying to keep you at a low vibe and just be careful of the, anything that's easy access, okay? I'll put it to you that way. Anything that's pushed heavy, free um anyways i guess that's the end of this video i gotta go do stand up tonight patreon video is going up tomorrow we're get we're getting back to raw um if you're interested in this stuff go on my patreon i'm trying to free as many minds as possible the real red pill is over there <laughs> so <clears throat> um maybe one day if i'm rich i'll, I'll put it all out there for free because i'm not I, I i'm not afraid of you can question anything. Just don't do it in a rude, stupid way. You know what I mean? We can we can debate. I've had debates on Patreon. It's, you know, I, I, I just don't want to be brought that into an angry state of mind where we're going to be bickering back and forth like a couple of idiots. Like, if you got questions, I'll answer them. And, it, it, you know, do, do I know a thousand percent what the truth is? is no i'm looking for the truth that's why if you can prove any of this shit wrong i'm all ears let's find the truth you know what i mean anyways so appreciate every single one of is um thanks for the subs likes comments tips um thanks especially the patreons you guys are keeping this ship afloat <laughs> but um same with youtube though man the two of them combined are keeping the ship afloat so i appreciate every single one is so Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll see what the next video is going to be. I the, the There's going to be a complete guide to homelessness coming up, but it requires a lot of notes and thoughts because I want to put it all in one video. And I'm going to be making a video like that probably every couple of months or so because it gets buried in the algorithm and there's people out there facing homelessness that need some guidance. So every couple of months I'll be putting something out like that just to keep it up there and, and keep it out there for the people who need it. Anyways, appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you on the next one. Everybody have a good one.